Okay, well, thank you. He's now back at the hotel, and the clerk says he hasn't seen him since this morning. He only left here a short while ago. Give him a little more time, dear, and then try again. I don't know what he could have been thinking when he bared his soul to the press like that. AJ and the word think don't belong in the same sentence, not to mention soul. He was trying to do the right thing. Let's see if he still feels the same way when he's arrested. God, is there no end to this? Frankly, I'm much more concerned about Jason at the moment. The media's going to be all over him, and I don't think he's in any condition to deal with this. From what I've seen, I think he can probably handle it better than anybody in this room. It's A.J. I am worried about. He is guilt-ridden, he's confused. There's no telling what he'll do. Well, Monica, I, uh, I hate to tell you this, but the cat is out of the bag. He couldn't have caused more trouble if he had tried. What I like best about you, Edward, you come to the support of others in a crisis. I stood by you, if I'm not mistaken. And believe me, that was no picnic. Monica, you're playing right into A.J.'s hand. This is not a game, Alan. He is my son, and I'm worried about him. I'm very worried. That's exactly what he wants. He sucked you into this all over again. He's probably in some bar right now getting drunk, enjoying the fact about how upset we all are. I don't want to hear any more about this. A.J. did something very courageous, and I admire him for it. And I am sick to death of hearing his father and the rest of this so-called family put him down. For all we know, he could be lying dead in an alley someplace. Mom, hey, are you okay? No, Emily. I'm about as far from okay as you can get. Well, did something happen to AJ? Was he in an accident or something? No, he's just, he's still not back at the hotel, and I am concerned, very concerned. I'll get it. No, you better let me. It could be someone from the press. You go on inside with the others. Okay. Um, so, did trouble you, Dr. Quartermain? Well, has something happened to Jason? No, no, he's fine. I just, uh, if it's no trouble, I'd like to just ask you a few questions about this guy, Pierce Dorman. The question on everyone's mind tonight is how will the shocking revelations of Councilman Quartermain's drunk driving, which left his brother brain damaged, affect the fortunes of one of poor Charles' most prominent families, already rocked by the recent scandal concerning Dr. Monica Quartermain. What'd you go and do that for? It was just getting interesting. It was you, wasn't it? You're the one who leaked this to the press. You think I actually came here to accuse you of going to the press? Am I wrong? Yes. I came here because you're my friend. Because you understand me. I would never, ever do anything to hurt you. I'm sorry. I'm just... I've been very confused by everything that's been happening lately, and... I, I fell off the wagon, and, and I'm trying to get back up there, but I need to know that you're there for me, that you're going to help me. I want to help you. Then what's stopping you? Tell me. I'm afraid to trust this, AJ. Keisha, you have got to get over this 12-step Al-Anon crap. Listen to me, baby. This is just you, and it's me. Right here, right now. You need professional help. Yeah, I'll get it. I'll get it. I swear to you, I will. I, um... I just need some time to figure things out right now. Pull myself together. I'm sorry. I can't give you what you want, AJ. I can't. Damage, Jason. What would I know about Quartermain family business? Except, of course, what Monica shared with me in intimate you moments. You did it to get back at Monica for that article on you and the sexual harassment suit from years ago. Monica and I are quits, Jason. I proved my point. I won my case. I harbor no ill feelings for her. I know how angry you must be, Jason. It must have been very traumatic to learn that your own brother was responsible for altering your life like this. To think that your own family knew about it all along and they kept it a secret you from may you. have been able to sell this act to a judge but i'm not interested i'm on you until you pay for what you did i'm sorry you feel that way i have nothing but the highest regard for both you and your family 
if I find out you had anything to do with leaking the story, I will kill you. He's just upset. Who can blame him under the circumstances? A brilliant future racked by the unthinking carelessness of his own brother and then covered up by his own family? the entire world what really happened i'm trying to straighten myself up here i need to know that you're going to be there for me it's too late i can't help you aj please don't make this any harder than it already Come is on, let me just stay tonight with you Come on. all i gotta do is just figure a couple things out what i'm gonna do next i love you i do i can't go down in flames with you, AJ. I can't. I would never, ever drag you down with me. A Johnny person never intends to drag down the person who's trying to help him. But it happens. AJ, you're sick. You have a chemical dependency. You need professional help. I need you. You have to do this on your own. Wow. They really did a number on you, didn't they? They sold you the party line right down to the small print. <laughs> Don't give him an inch, because if you do, he'll take a mile. Don't believe him, even if he swears on a stack of Bibles, because that's, uh, that's just the need for liquor talking. You put up a wall, you isolate him, and then you rub his nose in that it. That is not what I'm trying to do. Don't worry. I hear you loud and clear. And you can quit going to the meetings now, Keisha. Because I'm not going to bother you again. AJ. AJ! What? I swear to you, this is the hardest thing I've ever had to do in my life. Well, you let me see if I can make it a little easier for you. I hereby absolve you of any further responsibility to me in my so-called life. But you make sure that you have a good one. AJ! This is a really bad time, Sonny. I apologize for not calling for us, but uh, if there's anything you can tell me about him... Then... Look, I don't mean to be rude, but we're in the middle of a family crisis, and Pierce Dorman is just about the last person in the world I want to talk about. Family crisis? Anything to do with Jason? Well, he's my son. If it concerns the family, it concerns him. If you need me for anything, I'm here. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Now, if you'll excuse me. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you. I appreciate it. I guess, I guess you heard. What? Your, your, your mother was talking about some kind of family crisis. You know anything about it? Well, no. AJ told the press that he was driving the car the night I got brain damaged. Jason, open up. Come on, Jason, open up. It's AJ. He thought he could beat me one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, come on, you beat me by one point. I spotted you six. Here, put the on. I just hope you realize what a major victory you scored here. Yeah, we've only been trying to budge that for, what, 20 years, 20 years maybe? at least. Oh. 